Hi, this is Jeff Fry with CloudBees. Today I'm going to talk to you about our updated VMware Autoscaling Jenkins plugin for CloudBees Core Enterprise Jenkins. So what's new in this release? We now support the official VMware REST API. We support vSphere 6.7 and higher. And this plugin also works for vSphere on-prem or vSphere in the cloud on VMware Cloud on AWS. And we have some updates to the Jenkins agent pooling. We have a new dynamic agent pooling that allows you to spin up VMs based on your OVF templates. And then we have some updates to simplify static and folder agent pooling. Let's give you an overview of this Jenkins plugin with a demo. We'll use the Spring Pet Clinic project as an example. We'll do a Maven build, push to a private Maven repo, then deploy to a staging server. So this is what our pipeline looks like. So for the build and deploy to repo stages, we'll use a dynamic agent. So we'll actually specify an OVF template. And as part of the pipeline, it'll actually spin up a VM using this OVF template to run these stages. And then for a staging server, we'll specify it as a static agent. So now let's show you what this looks like in our vSphere environment. So we're actually running vSphere on VMware Cloud on AWS. So let me log into our vCenter. Now this is our STDC. Now we're looking at our software-defined data center in VMware Cloud on AWS. Here we have our CloudBees Core Enterprise Jenkins running as a VM. We also have a Jenkins Master running as a VM. We also have folders for all of our Jenkins agents VMs, dynamic agents, folder agents, and static agents. And then we have a prod folder. This is where our Maven repository server will be running, is running, and our staging server. Also, let's take a look at our VM templates in the content library. We have a couple templates here. We'll be using this dynamic agent OVF template to launch our dynamic agent VMs. So now let's take a look at our Jenkins master and see how this is all configured. This is all provided by that Jenkins plugin. What we'll do is we'll click on pooled virtual machines. Then we'll click on configure. So the software defined data center that we were just looking at is configured here. Here we've given it a name, we've given it the host, the username and password to log into, and we can test the connection. Connection's good. So now let's take a look at the pools that are configured. We have a dynamic agent pool, and you'll notice here the OVF template is that dynamic agent OVF. So this will be used to spin up those VMs. And then we specify some of the attributes that are required, like the compute resource, the network, data store, the host, this could be a list of hosts, and the maximum VMs per host that will be launched. We have a static VM pool. And then in this one here, we just have one VM. This is the staging server. And then we have a folder VM pool. And then we also have another static VM pool. Next, we need to configure our agent clouds so that we can use these pools in our pipeline. So I'll go back to our client master, click on manage Jenkins, configure system, and I'll scroll down to our cloud section here. And here's where they're configured and we add a label that we can use in the pipeline. So right here we have our our SDDC that we looked at earlier. And then we're using the static agent pool. And then in the pipeline, we'll have to specify this VMware static label. We also have a pool for our folder agents and the label we use there is VMware folder. And then we have a pool for our dynamic agents. This the label here will be VMware dash dynamic. And then we have a pool for our staging server and we're calling this staging dash server. So now let's take a look at our pipeline and see how we use these labels. So to see our pipeline, I'll open up our Jenkins file. So in this pipeline here, we specify uh, an overall agent here using VMware Dynamic. So this will actually spin up VMs on demand to use as Jenkins agents using that OVF template. We have a stage for build, so that will use a dynamic agent. And then a stage for deploy to repo. This will also use that same dynamic agent. So now when we want to launch on the staging server, we'll specify a different agent. And we'll specify the staging server 
agent using this label. And then it'll execute these steps. So let's see this run. We're going to execute our pipeline through a Blue Ocean UI. Here we have the Spring Pet Clinic pipeline here favorited. And then I'm going to go ahead and execute it. So now we can click on it. I'll click on this run. And then we can watch it as it goes through the stages. So right now, it's looking for a VMware dynamic agent. So what's going to happen is it's going to spin it up. So if we jump over to vSphere, take a look at our dynamic agent folder. You see a VM has been cre created. And in a few seconds here, it'll actually start it up. There it was powered on. And in a few more seconds, our Jacobs master will connect to it and use it to do the Maven build and deploy to repo. So let's jump back to our Jenkins pipeline. Now Jenkins has acquired that dynamic VM. It's gonna go ahead and do the build. Now it's gonna go ahead and do the deploy. Next, it's gonna go ahead and launch our Spring Pet Story Clinic on the staging server. So right now it's gonna go ahead and acquire that static agent staging server. And now that it has it, it's gonna go ahead and pull down the Spring Pet Clinic from the Maven repo, and then launch it. So now we can go ahead and click on this link, and there's our Spring Pet Clinic running on our staging server. To learn more, go to cloudbees.com and look for the VMware Partner page. And all the code for this demo is found in my repo. Thanks for watching.